everybody. Let me introduce myself. I'm Daniel Pollock. I am the Chief Information Officer of DWF. We are a one-time law firm that is now a legal services business listed on the London Stock Exchange. In fact, we're the only law firm to have listed on a main stock market worldwide. We IPO'd in 2019. And I'm here to talk to you with my good friend and industry colleague, Mike Walker of Peppermint Technology, to whom I will now hand over to introduce himself. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, my name is Mike Walker, Chief Technical Officer of Peppermint Technology, uh, an ISV based in the UK. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I've got to say, this is rather like the Beatles' final album, where each artist had such a poor relationship that they recorded their pieces separately in the studio one at a time. That's not the case with myself and Mike. We've been working very closely together, but I hope this stitches together just as well as the Beatles' final album. To talk about the journey that we have been on, uh, at DWF. We have been using case and matter management technology, which is a kind of workflow and automation technology for a long time for our insurance customers and for many other high volume uh, case types. And we are in the process of finalizing our choice of technology to replace that case and matter management stack. And we've been working very closely with Peppermint. And the reason why we have chosen to work with Peppermint is precisely because we want to build on the Microsoft stack. We want to have the opportunity to leverage everything that the Microsoft stack can offer us, not just on the office side, but also on the AI, Power BI, and all the other things that go within the overall Microsoft tower of technologies. So it's a big decision for us to go forward with Peppermint and the Microsoft stack. I think we'll be probably the largest law firm to have made that kind of decision. Of course, I don't think of us as a law firm now. I think of us as a legal business. Um, and what we're going to show you today, and I'm going to hand over to Mike in order to do that. We're going to show you today how we sought to prove the business case that we would indeed be able to leverage the Microsoft stack more effectively by adopting Peppermint uh, stroke Microsoft. Yeah, thanks. So today we're going to talk about how we've used AI Builder to help manage and start predicting um, a data model that provides information in regards to managing claims for damages in road traffic accidents. So here we are in AI Builder, part of the Power Platform. And what we've been able to do is import the data into the common data service for their historical claims information. And then using that, we've then been able to use a wizard through the AI Builder process to set the entity, which we're going to say is PI claim, which is the data we imported through. The accepted offer total, which is basically the, the targeted outcome field that we want to try and predict. In here, we can actually then go and specifically look at whether it's related entities that we want to attach or any specific attributes that we want to sort of feed into the data model. So when it's learning, it can then train and learn that information to then come up with the model that it's going to work for. It then allows you to also have a nice filter option where you could sort of say do different models for different groups of data. So you may want to use that for more refined information that might be related to specific cases that allow you to really sort of focus in on that. You then get a summary page that then just talks about where the data sources come from and what its outcomes are going to be. And then basically the training model happens and then after a few minutes you'll then get some information in here. And what this is, is is a human readable format of understanding the data model. So you don't have to be a data scientist, but ultimately it's trying to help you inform the most influential data it was able to use from a predictive perspective. And also gives you warnings and things that might need further refinement. So in this scenario, it's actually said the score looks unrealistically high. And again, that might be correct. The exciting point from this, though, is actually now what actually happens is inside of the line of business system. So this is Peppermint CX365. Because it's built on the Power Platform, it's all together. So what we've got here is we've got the information from the office that's come in for this specific claim, which has come from this claimant's lister. You've also got things like medical report information, incident dates. And on the right hand side, you've got predictive outcomes. I can actually click on here as a send counter offer. And what it will now do is run a process task that's going to try and go through a sort of form of wizard that's going to try and drive me into information that I need to know about the case. So in here, it's going to give a suggested offer based on the settlement figure and, and historical data that's been used on the predictive AI through AI Builder. I can click on save and follow this process through. It's now going to create an offer record. That offer record is going to be part of a document that's going to be able to go back to the alternative or the claimant's uh, solicitor. I can click on next. It's going to allow me to profile that document into my document management system merge the document and then upload it into my SharePoint system. 
And in doing so, what that's providing me is then a, a seamless sort of loop to actually have all of the information connected together. Information that I want all seamlessly within the application architecture. I can close that document, I could have printed that, I could have sent that as an automation, I could have co-signed that, do anything I wish to do with an automate. I've also got some tasks in here to allow me to sort of remind tasks and all of this is just part of the business system. Because I've completed that merge, I can then complete and close that down. That job is now being done. Now I've got an additional offer in, embedded within here. I can also go back to my dashboard because of the, also the power of Power Automate. It's also created additional tasks for my future. So I look on here, I've now got a document reminder task as well. Again, further concluding the whole value of the whole ecosystem together, that AI is now a first class citizen alongside core line of business systems. In summary, we brought in historical information straight into the common data service. We were able to use AI Builder to build a very quick uh, proof of concept around the model delivery and, and embed that within the user experience for the case handler, further improving their comprehensive ability to then define and get the right value for their case. That in turn builds customer satisfaction, reduces risk and understands and reducing costs. Now back over to you, Daniel, for final thoughts. So you've seen the demo and you've heard Mike talk about the use case and what we achieved. It really is striking that we were able to achieve in just a couple of days what previously we'd spent a long period of months thinking about and, and programming and coding. Uh, part of that, of course, was because we had a data set available to us. But by taking that data set, and using AI Builder alongside the line of business application, we really were able to prove to ourselves that we could leverage technologies like AI Builder absolutely in the heart of the line of business application rather than as a separate application standing to one side. So it's really created a level of excitement and validation within our organization that we're making the right choice.